Hello, and welcome to episode 8 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. Um, so I did a couple things between last episode and this. I actually spent an enormous amount of time expanding the walls out. And I'm not going to climb all the way up there, but I want to get high enough I can hang glide. I did rebuild the tower, um, just with a different stone, and it's got a ladder on it. Okay, so the original wall, of course you know where that was. I pushed out much farther. I tried to get far enough out that if I'm anywhere in this area, the mobs shouldn't even spawn out there. I went ahead and used a little nicer block instead of using cobblestone, just because it doesn't really take any longer with chisel to do that. I did use stone slabs on top to make it look nicer, though it took a lot longer to smelt that much uh, smooth stone up to make slabs. But it's the same design as the other wall. The one block uh, extends out so spiders can't climb it, and it's actually four blocks high. I've got my tree farm going over here. One of the things I did was I sifted a bunch of dirt. And I was doing it to try to get some more food. I finally got my rubber trees, so I've got a couple of rubber trees up. I guess I got three. Uh, I planted more oak trees over here. I got a couple birch in the back and one spruce. Um, I got a couple new things. Uh, let's see, here's the grapes and tomatoes, and then the tea and the cantaloupe and the sunflowers, soybeans, potatoes. Um, the other thing I found, if you take a mattock and you hit grass, and we had grass seed, you get seeds. So what do we got? Rye. I've been standing over here doing this, and I made a watering can from Extra Utilities, which allows you to, it's kind of like bone mealing stuff. It doesn't work with everything, but it definitely works with grass. That piece doesn't want to cooperate. but And then so then I can mattock it again. I stood over here and I actually had to build a double chest because I came up with so many things. I'm not even going to read them to you. But I have a ridiculous amount of different foods, including uh, seeds, which is awesome. So eventually, off camera, I'm going to make the farm much bigger. And I'm going to try to have a little plot for each one of those things because I don't even know what I need and don't need. Um, I planted two of my saplings. I got a banana tree and a uh, vanilla bean. So I got those going. Um, went ahead and when I tore the old wall down, instead of using my pickaxe, I used uh, stone hammers and I hammered all of that cobblestone that was going around here into gravel and I sifted the gravel. And I got a ton of uh, ores in here and I already had a chest with ores so I decided to start smelting them down. I can tell I need water. And what I did over here was I ran my Steve's uh, factory manager over and it's just keeping lava here. And I explained last time, we can't just send everything here because it'll combine into alloys. So I just made this chest, and Steve's is set to whatever's in this chest, stick it in the controller. So I'll just manually pick iron, bring all the iron over. I've got the, uh, I had the faucet here on this, and I had a redstone clock, which is the same as uh, me clicking on that over and over. And the ingots get pulled out by Steve's, and then they get sent in into our barrels. So... We've actually got a pretty decent amount of some of these um, ingots. Of course, iron's low because I'm always using iron. And I added another row of barrels up there. See, we got some diamonds and some emeralds from sifting all that gravel. And it was a lot of gravel. The other thing I did was I got my inventory relay because I got lapis. So you can see we're 0 out of 100. Now we're 100 out of 100. So it refilled just by standing on that. And the way I did that, I'll just show you real quick. Um, right here's our input, and our input is that inventory manager, uh, the advanced inventory relay. Target up, and then items. We did camel pack, but we did 100, which is an empty camel pack. So input, advanced inventory relay, empty camel pack. And the output is to that chest that has the water bottles in it. And that chest is already set up to auto craft full camel packs from empty ones and water bottles. So I didn't have to add anything. And then this one, the input is that chest and it's set to zero for full water bottles. And then our output is the advanced inventory relay. But there is one special thing and I don't know why it doesn't show me because I picked target up but then I had to do something else. And it, I mean it works because you just saw it but it doesn't show that. So what you actually do when you set that thing up and you do your target, you do up but you use ID range. And I believe it was 3838. And then you, I just blacklisted that. So that 3838 is this slot. So all you do is stand on that, it pulls it out, it makes it, it puts it back 
in on your inventory and you're good to go. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, awesome. Yeah, I should do the watering can, right? Uh, one other thing. I got a couple more barrels over here because I was trying to make dirt and I was using saplings there. I went ahead and made a lava drum uh, just to get our lava production so it could keep going. So we've got a huge amount of lava. And what I'm trying to do right now is expand the smeltery just a little bit because it is a little slow because I can only put nine things in at once. And what I found was I had um, a quest that we could have, we should have completed last time, which was this one. We had completed it, I just never turned it in. So I turned it in and got my eight seared bricks. I haven't done anything else. Um, what I did is I put those eight bricks in here, and then I pour those over cobblestone, and it gives me seared, uh, I think it's called seared cobblestone. The thing is, it it doubles. One seared brick will cover two cobblestone. And then what I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to end up, uh, it's not going to be 18 because I messed a couple up and had to redo them. I don't know what actual number we're going to end up at, but it's going to, it's technically going to or double, but I screwed up a couple times, so it's going to slightly more than or double because I redid them. But what we're going to do is we can put the seared cobblestone in here, melt it down, and then run that through um, and make ingots out of it. And then I can make seared bricks and we could, we should have enough to make two more levels. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just finish this off, and I'm going to throw... Actually, we can probably just wait a second here, can't we? Just I'll show you the next step since I've only got... And it's out. Right? Okay. So what we're going to do, because I only have one drain, so this is why I had to kind of do it funny. We're going to move the drain back. And then put that there, and put this here. And technically I can break this, because it's not going to do anything for us. So that's set up. Steve's factory manager is set up to automatically pull stuff out of there. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to throw that in. I'm going to put the rest in here, and it's going to keep melting it down. And I can just stand here and keep clicking this, and that's going to keep pouring these ingots. Or the other thing I can do is I made this redstone clock, which is... Basically, it's doing that. It's just sending out redstone pulse. And that's going to pour all my ingots out, and they should end up in that chest. So we'll come back once I get uh, all of this melted down and cast it into ingots. Okay, that did not work how I thought it was going to work. I, I was under the assumption one seared cobblestone was going to make one seared stone, and that, of course, if I pour it into the casting basin, it would be one seared stone block. But I thought if I poured it into the brick mold... I would get like four bricks. Um, that didn't work. So I've got nine blocks, and it takes four bricks, right, to make a block. So if I pour one, I only have eight. So the way this is going to work out, I. I I read online this was supposed to double what I had, and what it looks like is I'm going to end up with less. So let me finish this and see where we end up, because I'm a little confused. Okay, we're back. I ended up... <laughs> I had 18... I had 9 seared uh, bricks, the actual block. I poured those over 18 cobblestone. I messed up twice and had to get a couple more, so I ended up with 20 of those seared cobblestone. I melted that down into 20 seared stone, which I could have poured out and made 20 seared stone blocks, and instead I poured it in the brick mold, but I ended up with 20 of these, which is going to get me 5. So I started with 8 of these, and now I have 5, but what I read online was it was supposed to double. So apparently, at some point, that got changed. So not only did it not double, I just lost 3 uh, bricks. So that was uh, very bad of me. I should probably test stuff out better before I start doing it. Okay, so we're not adding more on to the smeltery, because we don't have enough now. We had enough. I could have added another layer. Now I can't. Awesome. All right, so what are we else are we going to work on, since that was a total failure? Um, one of the things is, I, you know, I need to keep getting leaves and getting wood, and I need rubber, and I need all that stuff. Well, I've been using bone meal, 
and I'm out of bone meal, and my mob grinder, of course, stopped working as soon as I pushed the wall out. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and build a mob grinder. We're going to have to build it with uh, water at first, which means we won't get endermen, but once I get enough rubber, I can make conveyors and we'll swap it over. And I want to keep it close by because we know we're going to feed into all these barrels, and we'll probably make one, I guess, that'll be up and it'll drop. I'm not entirely sure. I want to save this for machines. I could probably put it here, off to the side. We could set something up here. Yeah. Okay, so let me um, let me get a whole bunch, because I'm going to use chisel. I've just been trying to make stuff look nice. Let me get a whole bunch more chisel blocks, and we'll build the thing up, and uh, I'll be back once we're up there doing something. Okay, I didn't manage to record in time, but I just shot an enderman. And, oh, what do we got? We've got an ender pearl. That's my first ender pearl. Okay. Um, I actually literally just went inside, grabbed co co cobblestone, and came out, and that happened. So I haven't done anything. Back in a few minutes. Okay, I've got something going up here. Um, if you've ever seen a mob grinder before, you've probably seen this design. Put water in here, and it all flows into the middle from the four sides. I just filled in. Eventually, this will be open, but there's our shaft going down. I just filled it in so I don't have to worry about falling in. But it'll be a three-by-three three hole, which is usually what I like, just so spiders can drop down easily. And then what we'll have to do is make our actual um, platform here. And fill all this in. And put lights here for now, obviously, so we don't have anything spawning on us while we try to build it. I'm uh, out of cobblestone, though, so... Got to go down. Whew. I didn't intend to get that close, but... A little excitement there. Let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff. And I think I'm just going to use this to make the whole thing. If you notice my ladder there, I'm going to have to move that a little bit, because it's going to end up going right through the mob grinder. Luckily, I had my hang glider with me when I started going up there. Oops, there we go. So yeah, we'll have to fix that ladder. Wish I had a builder's wand. I'm assuming it's... Mm, don't have that mod, apparently, huh? I can't even remember what wand... Or what... No, wait. Builder's wand. Oh, apostrophe. Yeah, unstable ingot. That's too bad. Too bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in basically the four corners here, and then we'll build a two, well, a three high wall all the way around, and then we'll put on a roof, and then we'll be back. Okay, we're coming back up here. I haven't put the roof on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put the water in. So I had to do this little weird offset, and eventually I'll get on the roof and then... I guess I could continue up that way, or the proper thing would probably be to move it. So if I did this right, yep. Struggling. So if you don't know, the reason for this is if you get the mobs to drop two blocks, they're not scared of that, so they will. But then once they're down here, they can't get back up, and then the water's going to push them to the middle. And of course, once we put the roof on, they'll be able to spawn day and night. And I am just going to make it too high, because if the Endermen spawn and then teleport, I don't want them all over my base. Once we can get uh, quite a bit of rubber to make conveyors, we can replace the water with conveyors, and I'll put conveyors up there, and then we can make the roof taller. 
because I, I definitely want to be able to get Enderman. Oh, that's it. We've got to go get more water. Okay, so I'm going to go get more water. We'll be back when I'm closer to done. Okay, I just finished the roof. I broke all the lights down there before, so what I should be able to do... As you can see, it's all red in there. So... And I sealed the bottom in because I don't know if this is enough fall to kill him. And if it's not, I don't want anybody running out of there, any of the little guys. So they should, I should be far enough away for them to spawn, but of course it relies on them walking into the water. And there you go. Just heard something die. Didn't get anything, apparently. Oh, there we did. Uh-oh. And that's why we... Flying spider. Okay. Uh, so one of my plans... How much iron do I have? Yes. I need a few more... I don't want to use rubber wood. Is it three? I think it's three. And then one of these. And then that, and I think... Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, I think we have enough to do... Oh, we still need, we need nine. That's too bad. That gets us eight. That'll definitely make sure anything that... Probably a little risky doing what I'm doing. Okay, so that's the first step. We're gonna, definitely going to kill everything. Uh, eventually, at some point, I'll have enough iron. I'll make that ninth spike. The other thing, though, we got to get the stuff out of there. I think, what's it take to make a vacuum? Don't we? Yeah, vacuum hopper. Oh, a piece of obsidian. How? Oh, I can make one piece of obsidian, right? Some lava. Uh, 
And I think... Is this going to pick... Uh Mining level 10. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Well, we could make a new pickaxe. Yeah, let me see if I can think of a better way to do this other than making a pickaxe. Okay, what I'm going to try to do, I've got this alumite axe head. I'm going to give this a shot and see if I can melt this down. Yeah, okay. And will it give me enough to fill a pickaxe? Um, I don't know that it will. And then the next problem is, I don't think I can put it together in the tool station. I think I have to upgrade it to the tool forge, which takes like a whole bunch of iron. And I just used all my iron. Yeah. And seared bricks. I have those, though. That's a lot of iron. We'll see what this does. I definitely don't want to use... I've, I don't have that many diamonds. I mean, I guess I'll get more once I start sifting more, but... I hate to use three diamonds to make a pick. Okay, let's see if this will fill this. Otherwise, I just wasted it. Okay. That used it all. That should be over in this chest, then. And then the question is, can I do this? Because I don't think I can. Uh, I need a binding and a handle. I can't use a stick, right? Um, what do we have? I don't want to use that, do I? 0.5. Um... What else do I have? A lot of... Oh. Just shift click. Or, uh, yeah. Shift left click. Oh, I don't know that this is going to work. So I can't make wood, stone, cactus... Oh, see, because i got to pour it, right? Oh, I knew that. Um, bone, okay. I get confused going back and forth between different Minecrafts. Because then you get used to doing something, and then you go to a different mod uh, pack, and then they'll have this other stuff on the Tinkers that changes what you can do. And I don't think about using bone for things. Okay, and then we need a handle. Just a bone handle? Sure. Oh, I should have used that other piece. Okay, I don't think this is going to work. Because I'm reasonably certain I have to have the tool forge. Oh, it worked. Mining level Ardite. Okay. Wow. I thought you had to have the tool forge for the put the metal ones together. I know you have to have it to make like the hammer and stuff. Obviously not a fast pickaxe. Yay! And we've got one ender pearl. And I think I have a hopper. How was this thing? It was like this or something? Yeah. So
So then what we want to do is put this where we're going to be able to reach it with the inventory cable. I guess over here is going to be... Oh yeah. Okay. So that's going to fill up fast. We're going to... Yes, set that to there. Let's just throw a chest on here real quick. Do I have a chest? No. Yes. Because I don't think I have enough inventory cable to get over there anyway. That is excellent. That's a whole lot of bone. I'm very happy with that. Um, okay. How much inventory cable? We've got four. I don't think that's going to get us there, because this is as close as I get here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we need another set of eight. And I've got three iron. Is that all my iron? Yeah. Okay, well... Let me, uh, let me stop for a second here. Okay, so we're gonna put something together here that'll automate this. Uh, it's not gonna be pretty. Where is... I've got that there. Oh, but that's not cable, is it? Is the cable here? Yes. One, two, three, four, because that's as far as I can get to. And... So let's see, this should be filling up, yeah. Um, I think that needs a redstone signal, right? Yeah. This is a little bit of a hack way to do this. But it's just, it's going to make a lot of stuff, and I don't want to have to carry all that. Once I get enough iron, there we go. Probably should have just checked here, because... Yeah, it's working, slowly. It's got my ladder in there. Okay, so this is chest uh, 219, negative 186. I'm just gonna let it take everything out of the chest. And I guess I could just do the, all the barrels instead of sending it to the other chest. Anything there's not a barrel for should build up in that wood chest. I should make a variable that just has all the chests, and then I could reference that variable. And then when I added more barrels, or barrels is what I meant to say, 
I could just change one thing and it would change it everywhere. Okay. Alright, so once we get back up here, that chest should be mostly empty unless there's something that doesn't have a barrel. Yes. So there you go. I think I had those here. Well, maybe I didn't. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need these. We don't need that. I can eat that and put the piece of dust out here. Okay. So... Oh yeah, look how much bone I've got. So this is good. We've automated it. We're going to keep getting that stuff. Uh, once I get more iron, I'll actually run the Steve's Factory Manager and we won't be using this item duct because this item duct's not as fast as the Steve's Factory Manager. It sucked all that stuff out real fast. Uh, so we'll fix this eventually. We just kind of hacked it together to make it work. But we got some stuff coming in. We got some bone coming in, which I need bone so I can go through a whole bunch of rubber trees and get rubber, which is what we're going to be working on in the next episode, is we're going to get a bunch of rubber together, and we're going to start uh, heading down some of these quests. Oh, what do we got here? Copper sword. Needle gun. I don't really... I don't know what that is. I'm just going to take this. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, wait. There was another one up there. Oh, we got to kill a lot more people. Okay, so as I was saying, so next episode we're going to... Uh, well, I'll probably do it off camera is get a bunch of rubber together. Uh, but then we're going to start working on some machines. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I guess they're teleporting out when they hit the water because they're Ender creepers? That could be a bit of a problem, having those things running around. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, more reason to get the rubber going so we can get some conveyor belts up there and then get rid of that. So uh, I think that's it. Let's get the uh, episode over with here. I will see you next time.